justice and freedom for all A dark night has arisen, but where does he hail from? Fight to free all liberty Slashing down oppressors to set our people free His name is Zorro Tremendous speech. Citizens of Los Angeles, please give a warm welcome to our beloved governor, Don Parasol. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, thank you. You're, you're too kind, please. <laughs> I can't get enough of this. Thank you. Senorita, you are the rose of the shimmering desert, with petals graced by the California sun. We haven't met. I'm Diego de la Vega, the brother of this desert rose. And you, dear sir? Lieutenant Ignacio Toledano, aide de camp to the governor. I'm also the nephew of Doña Isabella Verdugo. This, my friends, is the governor's speech. I am in charge of guarding it. Oh, the speech. Huge responsibility. Well, I'm carrying a thousand-page book. <laughs> hmm. Hmm. Is that poetry? <laughs> my nanny was crazy about poetry. Hey, you! Oh. The seagull's got the speech! Come back here! <laughs> Come back! What in the world? <clears throat> and now, as the new alcalde of Los Angeles, I'm overjoyed to announce my first decision. We shall begin building a school. A school? <laughs> oh, brother, just what we need. Here I thought that a new barracks might be more useful for the city's safety. And it's been agreed that Carmen da Villalonga shall be appointed as the very first principal of our new school. Oh, my. I wasn't expecting this at all. I, I, I'll do it. <laughs> my friends? I'll gladly volunteer to teach reading. Fine, fine. Now, since we're all gathered here, I have a list of all the locals who still have not paid their taxes. And believe me, they will pay up immediately or get tossed in debtor's prison. No! Please be reasonable about this. It's unfair. I can't believe that. Hmm. <laughs> oh, so forceful. What a soldier, huh? Well, Sergeant, what are you waiting for? Collect the taxes! Yes, sir! Yes, sir, sir! De La Cruz, one more peso. Wait. My ear can't be fooled, my friend. Please, we need that peso to feed the family and the cattle. The most we can accommodate you is um, a year in prison. No, no, no. Huh? My buttons! <laughs> <laughs> Subject of His Majesty. I have not yet paid my taxes either, gentlemen. I hope this oh. suffices. <laughs> well then, Captain, don't just stand there like a bump on a log. Arrest that bandit right this instant! <laughs> ah, I've got seed! Ah, help me! <laughs> oh, I got him! I got seed! Ah. Oh. Lancers, catch him! Yes, sir! Yes, sir. <laughs> Too fast for you. Yoo-hoo! <laughs> 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 Where is he? Oh. 
You can have it. Really? Oh, changed my mind. <laughs> Soldiers, get him! Look out! <laughs> Darn Parasol. These poor men actually need these pesos more than you, right? Shall I return their money? Collected tax money's mm. gone! Evaporated! You're nothing but nincompoop, Monasterio! You're a big lame zero! To catch Zorro, a desert turtle would be better and faster <laughs> than you! You're so very, very right, Your Excellency. In fact, my nephew here ought to be the right man to set out to capture Zorro. Oh. He's young, oh. intelligent, fearless. Excellent idea! I'll give carte blanche to my aide de camp, Lieutenant Toledano. So he can capture that bandit Zorro. Captain Monasterio, you will follow his orders. Mm. And if Your Excellency would accept, my husband and I would be honored to host you overnight in our hacienda. Oh. You will be far more comfortable than here in this garrison with all the sweat. <laughs> <laughs> My dear Ignacio, I suggest you leave all the skullduggery and dirty work to Captain Monasterio. That way, it'll be easy to pin the blame on him afterwards and be rid of him. Then I'll take over as the new captain. That's right, my dear. Excellent. Aguilera and De La Cruz. Yeah. Oh, what is this? Pesos. <sighs> Still in costume. Yeah. Uh, that was close. Oh, this is the perfect setting for the schoolhouse. What do you think, Father? Absolutely, my dear. reading the next morning. We need you here. Mm. Come on. Hmm. I know, Bernardo, but still, it's difficult to pretend. I can't commend you, Captain. I've never seen such a bunch of clumsy oafs. Stop! Oh. <laughs> From here on out, the first man who steps out of line will get manure duty for a month! Forward march! <laughs> Whose orders must we follow now? Captain Monasterio's or Lieutenant Toledano's? Then again, it's kind of tricky as the governor has given carte blanche to Toledano. <laughs> hmm? uh, Lieutenant Toledano, hmm. uh, my respects. I simply meant to say that, uh, that uh, you look uh, quite handsome in that uniform. Hmm. Gonzalez, you're on manure huh? duty. That'll teach you not to lick anybody's boot but mine. As for me, I refuse to choose. Matter of fact, I'm off to the inn. Sergeant Garcia, no man abandons his post no matter what. Eight laps huh? round the garrison. Hop to it. Eight laps? It's four. <laughs> no third. Hunger. Huh? Stop that immediately! 
Who is this man? Antonio Ramirez de la Paterna, my fencing master. I have fencing lessons every morning. Is that a problem by any chance? Senor Ramirez is not a soldier. Only military personnel may enter this garrison. That's the rule, my man. You ought to read it someday. Yes! Sergeant, since you clearly enjoyed that, eight more should be a snap. Tell me, Lieutenant, besides reciting the garrison's house rules, do you plan on arresting Zorro one day? Matter of fact, I'll get him today, Monasterio. Nice group of hard workers we have here. And we know Zoro doesn't like this. I believe the question is, will Zoro fall into the trap I've set? Oh, he certainly <laughs> will, Lieutenant. That bandit always rushes in to help the weakest. Yes, I think we are all set for him. <laughs> What's going on? Captain Monasterio is making us build a new schoolhouse without <gasps> paying us or giving us food. Doing your karma. What? Captain, that's awful. Let these poor men go back to their farms. What's this? I start building your school and you're upset? Men, uh, take Senorita Villalonga back to her home. I'll... Oh. I'll complain to Don Luis Verdugo. <laughs> 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 well now, I hear that the school's already open. Have you come to learn how to read, Captain? Huh? Hmm. It's time you learned to be quiet. Repeat after me. A, B, C, D for disarm. <laughs> Get that man! Yes, sir. Tornado. Ah! Oh. Looking tired, gents. At the end of your rope. Catch that man, you bubbling. Ah. Here comes more. Troops, go get him. Move away. I'm going to capture Zoro. <laughs> Governor's orders. Come now, no squabbling, lads. There's plenty of me for everyone. <laughs> After you. I'll enjoy seeing how good you are at fencing. Aha! Do. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Next, please. Oh. Hey! <laughs> On guard. Little Z, dear Lieutenant. It's my turn, my friends. <laughs> Watch out! <laughs> hey, it's me, Zoro. I'm down here. Captain Zoro! <laughs> Attack! I got you, Zoro. Excuse me. <laughs> Close call, Tornado. We'll have to keep an eye on that Toledano. He's not nearly as stupid as he looks, don't you agree? I had him! How could he have gotten away? Never give up hope. I'm sure you will nab him next time, <laughs> Lieutenant. I'm going to use that imbecile to capture Zoro, and I'll get all the honors and glory. After all... If he nearly nabbed him. Captain, Carmen told me everything. As this town's alcalde, you are hereby officially warned not to force the inhabitants of my city to work against their will. Oh! Hmm. As you wish, sir. Hmm. Oh, the 
school. Carmen! You're too late, Diego. Class is over now. It's just... I've had so much to do as of late. Nothing requires you to give reading classes, Diego. I can find somebody else to do it, you know. Hmm. <sighs> it's not your fault, Diego. If Carmen knew what you really do, she'd forgive you instantly. That's the problem. Sometimes it's hard being Zoro. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, yes, there's my new plan. I shall capture Zoro by attacking his new protégés, the weakest of the Chumash. Zoro has often defended them, and since they are just Indians, we won't have any real problems. I have to admit, it's a brilliant idea. But I, and I alone, will arrest Zoro. We're on our way to the Chumash village, and we're going to arrest their chief and medicine woman, Tyna! <gasps> we know already. No need to yell. Have you heard? Lieutenant Toledano is riding out to arrest Tyna. Grandmother? Huh? But why? Mm. Yeah. Yeah. That's her! Tyna! Arrest her! What for? She has done no harm. Arrest him as well! Who else wants to protest? <laughs> yeah. Let go of my daddy! No. Now what? As soon as Zoro shows his face, I want you to set something on fire so that it looks accidental. That'll keep him here. Excellent idea. <laughs> This time, Zoro, you're mine. <laughs> well done, my friend. Alert! Zoro! What? Stop it! And him was the plan. Let's use that imbecile scheme. We'll set that hut on fire, and that'll stop Zoro in his tracks. Hmm. We'll tie him up near the fire, and uh, we'll be rid of him once and for all. We can easily pin the blame on Zoro. <laughs> Tyna, it's truly a pleasure to see you again. Grandmother, mm. are you all right? They did not arrest me for long. I'm starting to get used to this. Fire! 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 Ah, here you are again. Fire! Ah! I'll try this. <laughs> hmm. Huh, works well. <laughs> fire! Fire! Oh my, that is the man who came to arrest me. Who put him here? It would seem that whoever lit this fire also wanted to get rid of you, Lieutenant. It's Captain Monasterio who had the idea of setting this fire. <laughs> He's the one to blame. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Good job. Men, arrest this bandit Zoro. But Lieutenant, he just helped us. Let's go, Tornado. Goodbye, everyone. <laughs> Your Excellency, I'm not the one who hatched the idea of setting that Chumash hut on fire. He did! What? How dare you? Such lies, Monasterio. 
You should be demoted, stripped of your rank, and discharged from the army. What? <laughs> Sorry, Captain, but I still like you, my friend. You'll finish your lives in a jungle prison in Mexico. Henceforth, Lieutenant Toledano will be in charge of the garrison in Los Angeles. You can count on me, dear Tyna, to pay for rebuilding the hut that burned. Oh, so what? Huts don't matter. Quick, get me back to a place that's civilized. To Monterey! Garcia, because of your insubordination, I wasn't able to arrest that Zorro. This means you need punishing. <laughs> There's manure to shovel, boots to wax. Come now, my dear Ignacio. Let us not be too hard on this poor sergeant. All right, Garcia, you're excused. Thank you, Doña Verdugo. Be nice to everyone. Patience. And you'll soon see us become the absolute masters of all California. Bon voyage, Captain! Zorro! I hear military jails are quite nice in Mexico. Adios! <laughs> Sergeant Garcia, I'm going to meet the governor out on the Camino Real. I want everything to be spick and span when we get back. You heard what the captain said. You'd better get everything spick and span. As for me, I'm going to pay a visit to the most beautiful woman in California. And maybe also get a good breakfast. <sighs> Great news. You're free to take over the accounting for me? Uh, no, silly. I'm going to ask Carmen to marry me. Ah, oh, Diego! A wedding! A feast! It's marvelous! <laughs> it is nice how calm everything is now we're rid of Monasterio. But you'll either have to give up being Zorro, or else reveal everything to Carmen. Flowers. Doña Maria, uh, I have to plan a wedding. <gasps> or two, if you would become Mrs. Demetrio Garcia. <laughs> Don Diego, come on and we'll go ask for the hand of Senorita Carmen. Wait now, <laughs> not so soon. I, I have no idea what to tell her. Oh, my flowers! Hey. Come on, Don Diego. <laughs> See your wedding banquet from here, Don Diego. There'll be tons of tortillas and cakes, plus a river of hot chocolate. <laughs> oh, hello, Diego. <laughs> well, now, Don Diego, don't be shy. We are at Carmen's, your future. <clears throat> uh, I have come to see Carmen. Oh, well, she's not here, lad. And she didn't tell me where she went. <gasps> what about my river of hot chocolate? You need to go find Carmen right now! Lancer Puig, reporting for duty. The whole garrison from Monterey is here. Ready to follow orders, Lieutenant. Good. I need trusty men for this mission. Whoa! The governor will have lunch at my house before going to Los Angeles. Be ready, men. Okay, Doña Isabella. Hmm. 
Teaching them agriculture is a marvelous idea, Carmen. Luis, stop pestering Carmen with such details. You can see she wants to bolt out of here. Hmm. Ah, here we are, finally. <sighs> My dear Don Luis, your discussions of building a school are such a snore. Uh, please, tell me you're planning on throwing a huge ball in my honor. <laughs> yes, of course, a ball. <laughs> Men, mm. arrest him as well! Ah, but what's going on? Don Esteban Parasol, you are under arrest, sir, for corruption. Oh, Captain Toledano, have you gone mad? Luis, uh, it's the truth. Look at this. I found this notebook in his luggage. Don Parasol has been stealing money from us Californians. Wait! I've never seen that notebook! Oh, what? Are you calling me a liar? I believe you, my dear. Don Esteban, shame on you. You are a bandit. I implore you, Luis. You must become the governor. For the sake of all California. You may be right. I have a duty. Don Esteban, I promise you will have a fair trial in Spain before his majesty. Oh, I forgot the school's floor plan. I need to go back. I'm going to write his majesty and explain everything. Quick, hide the governor. Hurry! It's me again. I forgot the floor plan. Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh dear, I'm running late for a meeting. I must be going. Goodbye. <laughs> yeah. Arrest her! Stop that young woman! Yes, yes sir! <laughs> Let me go, you big brutes! <laughs> Dear Carmen, I am ever so sorry, but I will have to keep you here for a while. Bite <laughs> <laughs> them, senorita! Bite them! <laughs> teach these traitors a good lesson! <laughs> hmm. I order you to cease resisting arrest! Mm -hmm. She's done. Senorita Carmen, we've looked everywhere. Soldiers! What? I'm in charge of this honor guard? Corporal, move out of the way. That's an order from your superior. We couldn't find her, Carlos. Keep an eye open, will you? I'll go check nearby haciendas. Mm-hmm. Carmen's. <sighs> Too many horses have been by. I can't tell what's what. <sighs> Diego? Carmen's missing. What? We have to call all our rancheros to put together a search party. Let's go get father. <sighs> Don Parasol. You are the governor, the man who wields the most power in California. You alone can save us. You really think so? Hmm. <laughs> Wait, I got it. Brilliant, my dear. Ha! <laughs> 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 That'll teach you to mess with the governor of California! <laughs> Come on, quick! We're ready. We can go into town. 
Are you sure that the forged notebook will work to convince them that Parasol's a criminal? Of course. Don't worry. I'd never let them get close enough to read it. Ah, I told them, didn't I? That I'm innocent! Get that man! Catch him! Catch him! Hmm. Soldiers! Quick! My carriage! Oh. I have to hurry back to Monterey! Uh, well, no, but I... Don't resist, senorita. You have no hope of... No! <laughs> Go! And now, dear, now that you know the whole story, I can't afford to let you leave, you see? What a shame. I rather liked you, Carmen. We're not done yet, Doña Isabella. Hmm. You just wait. Zora will come save me. Hmm. Granted, he has saved you on numerous occasions. Oh, I get it. You and he are friends. Zorro has been getting in my way from the day I arrived here in Los Angeles. You don't choose your friends very well, my dear Carmen. Tortillas, chocolate, lemonade. Is this just gonna go on like this? <laughs> Long live Governor Don Parasol! Let us through, Sergeant. That's weird. Where's the governor? And who are these backups? We weren't told about this. Garcia, huh? manure duty. I will teach you to ask stupid questions. Where's the governor? Silence! The governor has stolen from you Californians! The evidence is in this notebook. Don Parasol's been arrested. He'll be on the first boat to Spain to appear before his judges. What? Not a man as sweet and important as our governor. My dear Luis, will you please, darling, mm -hmm. step up and protect all California by taking over as governor? Hmm. Citizens of California, you can count on me. Here we go. All those opposed, raise your hands. <laughs> Fine. Long live Governor Verdugo. Hmm. Wait. I have lots of respect for Don Luis Verdugo. But isn't this all going a bit too fast? If Governor Parasol embezzled from California, then we should be allowed to ask him to reply to our questions. I agree. That's true. We'll get to the bottom yes. of this. Where is he? Bring him out. Yes, and we have found his notes. Bring his notebook. Be quiet! You cannot give orders to Governor Verdugo! This is ridiculous. Huh? Arrest him! Mm. No, don't do this. Let me talk to him. I'm in charge of security, Your Excellency. Let him go! <laughs> uh, Father! Arrest these agitators! Oh, my goodness! Martial law is declared until further notice. Oh, oh, unacceptable! Uh, you you, you have no do right this. to be doing this. Uh, this is not what I wanted. <laughs> Doesn't look good. Good work, Bernardo. Arrest them! Catch him! Catch him! Oh. <laughs> Take him in! Oh, Don Alejandro. <laughs> it worked! Now we control California! Not yet, lad. We cannot allow Don Parasol to speak to the King of Spain. Maybe something awful could happen during his voyage? After all, boats can be so dangerous. <laughs> I hope that Zoro will try to save him. That way, I can capture him. And Carmen Villalonga, my dear Ignacio, couldn't she have a little accident on horseback? Say, high atop a seashore cliff? Uh, the governor, maybe, but not Senorita Carmen. You're in this up to your neck, Ignacio. You have no choice. If she talks, you go to prison, you see. Hmm. Parasol a traitor? What a joke. Yes, this whole thing looks like it has Doña Verdugo's name all over it. Just her style. Time for action. Bernardo, Ines, you go get that notebook. Meanwhile, I'll find the governor and Carmen. Yeah.
you? I'm trying to find the governor's forged notebook. It's definitely fake, isn't it? And I found it! <gasps> 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 for showing where you hit it. Bernardo in the river. Oh. Thank you, my dear. Hmm. <laughs> He's here. Zoro. Don Parasol, where is Carmen Villalonga? I don't know. Toledano mentioned the ocean and high cliffs. I suggest you hide at the De La Vegas. They're trustworthy people. He didn't even help me up into my carriage. How impolite can Zoro be? There she is. Tornado, quick! Fast as the wind! Toledano, let this woman go! Uh, help me! Ah! Hey, huh? you! Are you sure the rules actually authorize you to toss pretty senoritas into the ocean? Help! Help! Got you! Thank you, Tornado. <laughs> but we've got to work on your timing. <laughs> Long live Governor Verdugo! against him is forged. My friends, rebel now against these traitors. Stop it. Senorita de la Vega is a dear friend of the army. That's right, huh? Sergeant. <gasps> <laughs> Arrest Carmen Villalonga and Sergeant Garcia. Oh, yeah? Arrest anyone who wants to arrest me. Huh? Uh, ar uh, ar arrest, uh, arrest who? Arrest who?
<laughs> I'll wager you're all in for a long stay in jail. Hmm? Do you understand why, Don Luis? Will you please forgive me for my errors? I should have prevented all of this and I failed, alas. Oh, you hmm. shouldn't be asking for forgiveness, Luis. You would have been the best governor in all of California's past and future. Boo! You suck! Ha -ha! Ben, Boo! Just get out of here! Boo! 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 Ha -ha, arrest Zorro! That scoundrel left me alone out in the horrid countryside. I could have been eaten by bears, by vultures. Oh, dear. Mm. Maybe we should have let him get shipped off to Spain after all. <laughs> Sergeant Garcia, you are hereby appointed temporary commander of the garrison in Los Angeles. <laughs> Doña Maria, would you like to dance with the new military commander of Los Angeles? I'm in charge now. There you are. You have an outstanding bill that you can settle now. <laughs> I was so proud of you today, Diego. You fought like a caballero. Uh, Carmen, I have something to ask you. Yes? Ah, yes, go on, Don Diego. Uh, oh, <laughs> pardon, senorita. <laughs> Carmen, do you know Zorro? <laughs> My gracious, everyone knows about Zorro. Do you realize that Doña Isabella tried to throw me into the ocean just today because she thought I knew who really hides behind the mask of Zorro? Well, anyone who tries to harm you will have to contend with me and my secret weapon. <gasps> huh? <laughs>